You're looking at an M110 six-cylinder Mercedes engine, and we have a little bit of a problem. In fact, this could become a big wrench dance. The person putting in the spark plugs in this engine ran into a problem, came to me and said, hey, this rear spark plug won't go in, and guess what? It's partially cross-threaded. The problem was he tried to start the spark plug in a hidden area with a socket. Of course, this socket moves around, and I assume he was too straight in the hole. These spark plugs are in at a little bit of an angle, so you have to be really careful. I recommend on these engines that you get on a ladder or get up on top of the engine here and be able to look down in there when you start the spark plug in a number six cylinder. Now we have to try to fix this. First thing you have to do is totally clean out the threads. And you need to do it by getting up on the engine. You can't do it by not being able to look down in the hole right there. We're gonna use a thread chaser, not a tap, but a thread chaser on this locked extension to make sure we go down there at the right angle. Remember, these are angled back a little bit. They're not straight up and down. That's usually what gets people in trouble. There's really no way to do this without getting up on top of the engine so you can see right down into the hole and get the proper angle before you start chasing those threads or otherwise you're just going to follow the cross threads. We ran that thread chaser down about two threads and it bound up and we did not like the way it was feeling. So I took a spark plug and just helped me make a chaser out of the spark plug. Notice the flutes that we ground in it. They're going to help cut those old threads lightly. The term is lightly. So we're going to get up in there and try the spark plug to see if we can get that thread cleaned up. If you have a situation like this one where it's real bad, you're going to have to get your hand down in there, possibly. And you can do that by jacking up the transmission to raise the rear of the engine. And this is where it gets really tricky. You've got to have a certain feel when you run that chaser in that it's not binding up on you. I've got some grease on the threads to help pick up any shavings. And you work it down in there until it starts to bind up and then you're going to back it up a little bit and then feel it again. Just back and forth. Do not get heavy handed when trying to chase damaged threads. And we're going to keep an eye on this as we go down in that hole to make sure that spark plug is staying straight or straight to the angle that we require. Okay, we went ahead and removed it and we're going to put some more lubricant on that plug. We're moving down in there, we're continuing to add lubricant, rechecking our alignment. This is something that you could not be too careful about. Because if we strip this out, it's likely you'd have to remove the cylinder head to repair it. Okay, we're trying. You can see how important it is to be able to visually inspect the threads while you're doing this. Hey, hey Jerson, you having a good time? Yes, I do. Oh, you're having a great time. Got aluminum. All right. Okay, give me a... Uh, what do you need? A brush? I just need a brush. Okay, hold on. We're going to brush those threads off. Of course, for us old guys, we always need pads when we're sitting on top of a car engine. Here you can get a real good idea of the angle that these plugs enter the head. I think that's what gets most people in trouble. They reach back in there blind and try to run the plug straight in. Well, the threads are chased. And now we're going to install a new plug and see how it feels. Now notice I'm using a braided hose, a nice hose. I always recommend installing spark plugs in these old aluminum head engines with a braided hose. Start it by hand before you ever put a wrench on it, and that's probably what got the person in trouble here. So let's see how it works. With that hose, you can literally feel it go in, and then you're turning it all the way in by hand. If it doesn't go in by hand, with hose and you got a problem.
All right, let's see how it tightens up. Notice the hand is close to the head. You're not going to over tighten it. You're going to feel it seat out on that head. There it is. I hope if any of you are dealing with problems with cross threaded threads, I hope you find this video helpful. I know there are some who may say, well, why don't you just use a normal tap? Well, I found that they take out way too much material. So either use a standard thread chaser or make your own.